I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CB. It's Jordan and Chloe here with your announcements for November 3rd, 2020. Teachers, please send any updates or announcements that you may have to CBTV at centervalleysd.net. Do you have an interest in building a stronger future or expanding your knowledge of business? Well, FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America, is a club for you. FBLA gives you the opportunity to strengthen your leadership skills and will prepare you for college business worlds. By being a member, you stand out to colleges and universities as FBLA looks great on your college applications. As of right now, the State Leadership Conference in Hershey is still on for April. Join FBLA today for your chance to join in on the fun. Dues are $12. See any of the officers, Mikey Spinelli, Eva Conti, Lily Cassida, Kaylee Delata, Victoria Sharetta, Taylor Anderson, Rachel Pastrick, or Ms. Delon for more details. This week, the Central Valley football team takes on Keystone Oaks on Friday, their second Whitfield playoff game. Good luck, Warriors. That's all we have for you today, CB. Now here's Emma and Abby with information about the election. Make sure to get out and vote today. Election Day. This is a very important day for United States citizens to vote for the best candidate for presidency. This year, our current president, Donald Trump, and former Vice President Joe Biden are the two candidates. Donald Trump is a strong Republican. During the past four years, he has rolled back federal regulations on businesses, enacted corporate and income tax cuts, and signed executive orders supporting preferences for domestic-made products. Trump also renegotiated past trade deals because he believed they were unfair for the United States. He has taxed China billions of dollars to send their goods to us. He wants to offer tax credits to entice U.S. firms to move factories out of China, wanting to end our reliance on them. Trump has said that he wants to lower drug prices in the U.S. and brought in measures that would allow discounts and import drugs cheaper from abroad. If you are a Republican, you agree there should be an increased spending on military issues, do not agree with gay marriage, and abortion should be illegal. Most Republicans agree with the death penalty being a legal punishment and tend to favor a flat tax, which is the same tax rate of every American regardless of income. The Republicans believe that private companies can provide health care services more efficiently than government-run programs. They oppose Obamacare provisions like requirements for individuals to buy health insurance or pay a fine and required coverage of contraceptives. The Republicans view the coronavirus not as a major threat to public health care. Many Republicans believe that the masks do not do anything, and wearing them is not stopping the virus from spreading. Now, Democrats, on the other hand, see everything in a completely different view. Their main perspectives consist of keeping abortions legalized, decreasing military spending, supporting gay marriage, believe high-income earners should be taxed a higher rate, and support universal health care like Medicare and Medicaid. Opposite of the Republicans, the Democrats are taking the coronavirus very seriously. Master are must to them, and former Vice President Joe Biden wants to shut everything down again to lower the cases. Biden has stated that if he is elected, he will do things such as expand the public health insurance and implement a plan to ensure an estimated 97% of Americans will get everyone to realize climate change is an issue and we all need to help, and has vowed to spend whatever it takes to extend loans to small businesses and increase direct money payments to families. As you see, these two candidates are very different in many ways. Now here's a video of the presidential debates. We have a vaccine that's coming. It's ready. It's going to be announced within weeks, and it's going to be delivered. We have uh, Operation Warp Speed, which is the military is going to distribute the vaccine. I was in the hospital. I had it. And I got better, and now they say I'm immune. Whether it's four months or a lifetime, nobody's been able to say that. What I would do is make sure we have everyone encouraged to wear a mask all the time. I would make sure we move in the direction of rapid testing, investing in rapid testing. I would make sure that we set up national standards as to how to open up schools and open up businesses so they can be safe. He says that we're, uh, you know, we're learning to live with it. People are learning to die with it. You folks home will have an empty chair at the kitchen table this morning. What I would say is I'm going to shut down the virus, not the country. 
It's his ineptitude that caused the, vi- caused the country to have to shut down in large part. We have the best testing in the world by far. That's why we have so many cases. Let you know, someday you're going to have to explain why did you get three and a half. I never got any money from Russia. I don't get money from Russia. The foreign countries are paying you a lot. Russia's paying you a lot. China's paying you a lot. And your hotels and all your businesses all around the country, all around the world. I get American treated people? worse than the Tea Party got treated. Because I have a lot of people in there, deep down in the IRS, they treat me horribly. Just show us. Stop playing around. You've been saying for four years you're going to release your taxes. His buddy, Rudy Giuliani, he's being used as a Russian pawn. He's being fed information that is Russian, that is not true. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about, China. I have not had it. The only guy made money from China is this guy. He's the only one. Nobody else has made money from China. And what's he do? He embraces guys like the thugs like in North Korea and, and, uh, and the Chinese president and Putin and others. And he pokes his finger in the eye of all of our friends, all of our allies. I just gave $28 billion to our farmers. Taxpayers' China, money. It's what? Taxpayers' money. Didn't no, come no, from yeah, China. you know the taxpayers, it's called China. 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 Obamacare, come up with a brand new, beautiful health care. The Democrats will do it because there'll be tremendous pressure on them, and we might even have the House by that time, and I think we're going to win the House, okay? You'll see, but I think we're going to win the House. Oh, he's never come up with a plan. I guess we're going to get the pre-existing condition plan the same time we get the infrastructure plan. And the Biden care proposal will, in fact, provide for that affordable health care, lower premiums. What we're going to do is going to cost some money. It's going to cost over $750 billion over 10 years to do it. And they're going to have lower premiums. You can buy into the better plans, the cheaper plans, lower your premiums, deal with unexpected billing, and have your drug prices drop significantly. You keep talking about all these things you're going to do, and you're going to do this, but you were there just a short time ago, and you guys did nothing. We did. You know, Joe, I, I ran because of you. I ran because of Barack Obama. I am the least racist person. I can't even see the audience because it's so dark, but I don't care who's in the audience. I'm the least racist person in this room. To the oil industry, I'd stop giving them federal subsidies. He won't give federal subsidies to the, to the gas, excuse me, to, the, to uh, solar and wind. Yeah. Why are we giving it to oil industry? We actually do give right. it to solar and wind. Success is going to bring us together. I represent all of you, whether you voted for me or against me. This year, because of the virus, they are allowing mail-in votes. As of Sunday, there have been 93 million Americans who have casted their votes through mail. With the mail-in votes, it has come to everyone's attention that more people are voting, probably because they don't have to wait in long lines at the voting polls. With the mail-in votes, it is going to take longer to know who won the presidency. They are expecting it to be days or even weeks before we know the winner. Because the states have different laws in place for the mail-in voting, it will take each state a different amount of time to count them. As of right now, the polls are showing that Biden is winning. They are guessing that 51% of the population will vote for Biden and 44% of the population will vote for Trump. They are assuming that 5% will not vote at all. If you are of age to vote, please do because this is a very important election. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day, CV.